Hello and welcome to Unreal Made Easy and in today's tutorial we're going to cover two different things. We're going to cover uh, the jump, so for a really high jump, and we're also in the second half of this video we're going to cover how to create a sprint mechanic by holding down that shift as you can see here. Alright, no time to waste, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start in a completely blank project in a third person. We're going to use the third person uh, blueprint, which is under contents, under third person, and under blueprints. Double click on that. Now, for the first logic we're going to do, we're going to do the jump first, and then we're, later we're going to do the sprint. So. This is a normal jump uh, input right here. What we're going to do is we're going to actually disable this one and create ours from scratch. So by holding down Alt and clicking the left mouse button, you can disconnect that. For typical jumps, we're going to use the spacebar key. So we can type in spacebar there. And then we're going to go ahead and add are two jump functions. I'm doing this from scratch so you can get used to the idea of um, pulling up the functions from scratch. So we're going to do jump. It's going to be the little blue F here. And then we also want to be able to stop jumping. So we're going to drag off here and do jump again and then click on the stop jump. Now we're going to create a variable so we can control our jump height. The way we're going to do that is we're going to add something called a float. So Click on this variable here, create a new variable, call it jump height. And change this from a Boolean to a float. Compile and save. And now you can see here on the left, or I'm sorry, on the right, that we have a value here that we can alter. And it can be a decimal, it's a decimal value. Okay. Next, we're going to want to bring that in. We're going to get the jump height variable that we just created. Move this here. Let's move this out the way. And we're going to drag off and get something called jump height. Or I'm sorry, jump max hold time. We're going to set the jump height max hold time. Now, from right here, we're going to disconnect this and then reconnect this to the jump. Move that here, and now we've got our jump and our stop jumping function. Now, in order to adjust this, well, first, we always want to compile and save after we alter code. We're going to take this variable here, and we're going to change how um, we're going to change the jump hold time. And this is done in inches, so we can do two, I mean, I'm sorry, not in inches, in seconds, 2.5 seconds. So two and a half seconds, we're going to do that and we're going to hit compile and save. Now, let's go back to our third person map, hit play. And right here, you can see that we can hold the jump button down for two and a half seconds. And now we've got this great high jump. Now. Let's go back to the third person. We can actually change this and make this one. Just a, a one a one second jump. Okay. Compile. Save. So now you can customize how high you want your jump hold time to be. Hold it down. That's one. A full second. There we go. Great. Let's escape out of that. Go back to the third person. And now let's create the next piece of logic, which is the sprint. So in order to do the sprint, typically we use, most people use the left shift. So let's go ahead and type that in, left shift. And that's a keyboard event. We're going to need something called the character movement. And that's going to be over here inside of the character components, character movement. And from here, we're going to set the max walk speed. Oh, and yeah, yeah, we're going to set 
the max walk speed. So we're gonna go s right here, set max walk speed. And we're gonna do that two times. So one more time, set max. Now you could have copied and pasted, which uh, I could have done, but I just retyped it. Oh, sorry. Just set max walk speed. Okay. And then we're gonna set this one to there. Uh, and then for the pressed, we're gonna do that. Now, we're gonna have to add a variable. We're gonna call it sprint. Let's spell it right, sprint speed. And we're gonna, of course, we're gonna do it as a float again. And we're going to drag that into the event graph. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect it to on the on-pressed event right here. Neaten up the code a little bit. And we can head, mount, remember, now we could, we could select this, but the problem is you're not gonna see the value until you actually compile, compile and save. Now we have a value. Now, this is actually done in movement speed. So for normal movement speed, it's about mm, 500, 600. So for on the release, we're gonna go back to walking. When we let go of the, the left shift, we're going to set that to 600 for the walk speed, okay? For the sprint speed, through this variable, we can hit compile and save after we alter the code. We're going to set this to a really high number so we can see some amazing results, like 1,500, so we can see some amazing results with our sprinting, okay? And that should complete the logic for this. So let's go ahead and test that out. Hit play. And we go here, we can walk around, hold the left shift, and now we're in business. So not only can we run fast, but we can jump pretty high. And that concludes this video. And I want to thank you for uh, watching, and uh, please like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day.